And we're back. So. You think I'm bad? She's worse. All right. So we are going to get a little bit harder, but don't worry. We're taking everything one step at a time. So first thing we do is we look at our bases and we group all of our whole numbers. So what whole numbers are we dealing with? These. These two. Okay. I'm going to go get my marker. So I'm dealing with negative five times what? Two? Yeah. All right. Yeah, all right. Hello. Um, I need, what do they have in common? What bases do they have in common? The x and the y's. Uh, one variable at a time. So we're going to deal with the x's first. So un underline the other x. And we'll do it in different colors as we're solving it. So, I thought you couldn't really see green. Shh. You don't tell the computer what, you know, the students what I told you not to do. Where's the other, other thing? <laughs> don't be touching my things. It's my things too. No, it's not. All right. That one's better. Can you yeah. see? It? Yes, you can. All right. What variables are with the X's? The seven and the, and the negative five. So seven plus negative five. All right. What other variable do we have? The y. The y. So I have y and what variable? What um, exponents does that one, those have? Um, the four. Uh huh. And nothing. There is something. Oh, the invisible one. The invisible one. I totally forgot about that. Hey, you remember. All right. Four plus the invisible one plus five. Oh, relax. Hold on. Come <laughs> there you go. All right. Um, what's five times two? Five groups of, uh, two groups of five. Ten. Ten. Is it going to be positive or negative? Negative. Negative. All right. Look at my x. What's my x going to be? Well, first of all, it's going to be a negative. Ah. It's not going to be a negative. Oh, wait. Yeah, because this one's less than that one. Yes. So I'm going Seven to subtract. Minus 5 equals 2. So we're going to have a 2. And, and it's not going to be negative. It's not going to be negative. Made a mistake there. Okay. And my y is going to be? 5. 5, because 4 plus 1 is 5. Yes, and it's going, to, it's going to be like that because it's not negative. No, these are negative. All right, any exponent, any negatives that I have to deal with? Nope. What about this one? It doesn't matter, it's the base. It's the base, all right. I need to have you repeat it over and over again or else my students will forget. Yeah. All right, so my final answer is gonna be negative 10. X to squared, Y to the fifth. So we took our bases, so negative five and two, we put them together. We took x, 7, and negative 5. 7 minus 5 gives me a 2. And we took 4 with the invisible 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, so we got that as an answer. <sighs> I'm going to give you up for adoption. Why? I, I think it would be funny for them to like hear me say that. All right, next question. Ooh, it gets even worse. Actually, this one's so long, I need to turn it this way. Jeez, that's long. Yes, it is. All right, uh, can you see that? Yeah. More yeah, or less. pretty much. All right. Which color do you need? Black? I need black right now. So that was five, so this one's six. Done. So I have... Five, can you see that? Yeah. All right. And I have M, and I have that to the negative 10, and I have an N, parentheses, more parentheses, that's a lot. negative M, four, parentheses, open parentheses again, negative four, 
M N three and close parentheses. Oh my god, it's that's like that's long. Yes. Alright. Let's see if you guys can do it. So it's right here. Which color? Red. Alright. I need all of my whole numbers that are bases. What are they? No, 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 no. Yes, sir. let me know what it is. The five and the four. The five times negative four. Now, she didn't say one. There is one extra one. Which one is it? Wait. And everyone just wait to for it. Hi. So, say hi to my students. You have to come record over here. No, they still can't see you. <laughs> All right. I do have one other number. It's invisible. So what you haven't been taught yet is that in front of a variable, uh, there's, a there's, one. A, there's a one. There's always an invisible one in front of everything. Oh. The only reason why this one matters is because it's negative. So we're going to multiply this as well with a negative one. Okay. So all of these guys are going to be grouped. So I have my five, this it's invisible negative one. one, and this negative four. Okay. <coughs> all right. Um, green. Green. All right. What variable do we have in common? The M and the M and the M. So I have an M. And a negative M. And, a, and another okay, M. Okay, okay, okay. So what, ver what are my exponents for my M's? First negative ten. Negative ten. Then positive four. Then positive four. Then po then no, then ne then positive one. Positive one. But I don't see a one. There's a one, there's an invisible one right here. Okay. Let's all see that. No, you can't see that. All right. Let me make these a little bit bigger. I'll make that right. bigger. So negative. 10. Yeah, they can see that. Plus 4 plus 1. Can you guys see that now? Kind of. Kind of, sort of. If you get close to the screen, you can. Well, they're not going to be able to get close to the screen, and then I'll have to hear them like yelling and screaming at me. So let's change this to black. Yeah. So, M. Yeah, they can, they, they, they can, yeah, they can see that. Negative 10. 4. 1. Can you see that now? Yeah, more or less. Alright, kind of. move it. Um, let's move on. Blue. What other variable do I have? Um, n. N. Two n's. All right. So what vari What exponents do I have? Um, neg. Um, invisible one. So I'll put a one here. And three. Positive three. Positive three. All right. Okay, so multiply everything together. What's 5 times 4? 5 times 4? 20. 20. Is it going to be positive or is it going to be negative? Positive. Positive because I have a negative times a negative. A negative times a negative gives me a positive. Yeah. Alright? And either way, that beats 4. No, that only matters when adding and subtracting. Ah. So looking at this, I have negative 10, 4, and 1. So since I have different signs, we're going to subtract. So we're going to do them one step at a time. So we're going to do 10 minus 4. 10 minus 4 gives me what? 10 minus 4 equals 8. I mean 6. Why did I say 8? <laughs> Plus 1? Plus 1 equals 7. 7. All right. So I'm going to erase this here in a second, so if you haven't copied that down and don't know where this number is going to come from, write it down fast, or pause it. Um, so you said 7? Yeah. Alright. And... You erased it. What's my n going to be? The n's going to be 4. 4. Alright. Looking at my numbers, is everything simplified? Is everything done? Do I have any negatives that I need to deal with? Nope. No. Not even, not even there. Yeah, not even there. So this is going to be my final answer. Can I put up the sign? No.